We came to Kyrgyzstan to experience nomadic life, but before that, we are going to spend a day here at the capital city, the gateway to the Kyrgyz mountain, Bishkek. Using public transportation and mostly by foot, our goal is to reach the ancient city where the Brana Tower lies and explore the capital city before the day ends. My name is Farrell and this is Sheila. We are on a mission to explore as many countries as we can and share our enriching experiences with you. We love immersing ourselves in new cultures, trying delicious cuisine, interacting with locals, exploring tourist hotspots and venturing off the beaten path. Join us on this journey and see how two boxing coaches with full-time jobs take on the world with just a backpack. Touchdown. 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 Kyrgyzstan. Touchdown. We just touched down Kyrgyzstan and we already had a very warm welcome. Mega gong, mega moment. Das Vidania. Bye bye, das Vidania. Finally, after 13 hours, we've arrived at Bishkek. Kyrgyzstan. Touchdown. So now we're gonna look for a hostel. We're staying for one night here in Silk Road Guest House. It's uh, very convenient for us because it's new. 300 meters away from the uh, bus station. We had a very warm welcome yeah, here in Kyrgyzstan. Yes. So we're looking forward <laughs> yes. to our encounters with the local here. That's true. And this is our hostel. Oh, we're here. This, this is just across. It's just this is a bus, place, station, bus station. Bishkek Western bus station. Guest house. Silk Road guest house. Mm -hmm. Amazing. This is very convenient for those who are traveling. Anyways, so what to expect today? Just expect us to be around the capital and we will try and go out of the capital, it's one hour away, uh, Tokmok. But before that, let's go, go and change and freshen up. It's gonna be exciting, so stay tuned. See you! Alright, we've arrived in our hostel. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Here, Renzo? Yes, sir. Okay. Near okay. Hello, morning. Okay, guys, let me give you a tour of this hostel first. Follow me. This is the best find we had from bookings.com and the best part is they have these costumes for you to wear and maybe take your photos or video. Dining area and living room. It's very cozy over here. It's clean. It's got filtered water. They have filtered water for tea and tea, coffee. And they even have laundry service. So it's 300 songs per. Before we embark on our adventure, our first mission is to blend in with the locals. Fortunately, we didn't have to look far for the Kalpak, a traditional hat that symbolizes Kyrgyzstan's rich cultural heritage and national identity. Recognized as an element of UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage, the Kalpak is a source of pride for the locals. Its unique shape and colors reflect the snow-capped mountains of Kyrgyzstan, while its four panels represent the four natural elements. Wearing a kalpak not only demonstrates cultural appreciation but also fosters a deeper connection with the local people. 
providing excellent photo opportunities that add a vibrant touch to your travel memories. So with our car parks secured, we are now ready to begin our journey. On our way to the east bus station of Bishkek. That's where we look for a Maruchka that will bring us to Tokmo to see the Burana Tower. Okay, so we found the van. The van is bringing us to Tokmo. Tokmo is the location where to find this Burana Tower. Because now, let's just find our way there. Alright, so we're in. We'll be standing. That's it. Touchdown, Tokmo. Transcript. Transcript. Oh, oh. Translate. Guys, helping us. Well, we met a very uh, friendly local. He's guiding us to how to find our way to Burana Tower right this now. This kind gentleman told us to wait now. Uh, he's trying to find a taxi to scam us. We've been encountering quite a lot of nice people. Very friendly locals and very helpful. Very interesting. Eh? Makes the travel even more fun. This guy is amazing. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Spasiba. Thank you so much. Let's go. On we go. On we go to Burana Tower. <laughs> this journey is getting more interesting. Kota Burana. Da, Burana. I think that. Honestly, one hour. One hour. Ah, ah, okay. Da. So he told us he'll wait for us for one hour. Okay. So the taxi driver has uh, agreed to wait here for one hour. And he's charged us an extra 200 for the waiting. So it's not bad. It's still uh, better than all the trouble looking for our way back. And we need to pay the 200. By the way guys, we left Bishkek East Bus Station around 11.30 a.m. And then we arrived at Tokmok Station around 12.30. So it took us one hour to reach. And we were standing all the way. I think it was because of language barrier. Because when we arrived there, the dispatcher couldn't understand us. Yeah. So the driver just told us to go inside. Yeah, we were like, what is he trying to say? At first he told us, uh, stop, 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 stop. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yes. Stop. So I used my Google Translate to see what he's trying to say. And mm -hmm. he said, wait, wait. And the next thing you know, he told us to come in, come in. So we ended up standing for one hour. When we arrived at the Tokmok station, yeah. there's this local guy. Yeah, very nice guy. Help us um, get a taxi and he managed to close the deal for us as well. Yeah. And uh, the taxi driver charged us 500 soms per way and then we agreed that he will wait for us for an hour and another 500 soms for Going to back. go back. Yeah, so 200 for waiting, yeah. Mm -hmm. So not bad, good deal. So a total of 1,200. That's fine, yeah. 1,200 soms. Okay, let's not waste time, let's explore this brand new cover. Let's go. Let's go. Before we getting experience it, yeah, there's an exit entrance fee over here. Just an hour from the city center lies a minaret where a legend resides. Built centuries ago, this site was once part of the ancient city of Balasagun. Towering at 24 meters, the Burana Tower presents a thrilling challenge for those eager to reach its summit. Scary. <laughs> okay. This is the first challenge. Let's go. It's like entering a cave. Yeah, look, check that out, man. Oh my gosh, it's so steep, you know. Yeah. Coming. Hello. Almost there. Is it bread? More be like. Go, go, go. Almost there. Huh. It's gonna be hard going down. Oh, cool. yeah. We're here. Have I check out the view? Check out the view. There are stones surrounding the Burana Tower which are known as Balbals. These are ancient stone carvings depicting human faces. These unique monuments, often associated with the Turkic nomadic tribes, were typically used as grave markers or memorials. The Balbals are thought to date back to the 9th to 12th centuries and provide valuable insight into the beliefs and customs of the people who once inhabited the region. Alright, as you can see, all this rock formation that has face on it. It reminds me of something like the Easter Island. 
So this is a miniature version of it. So in here in Burana Tower in Tokmok, it happens to be a history that happened long, long time ago. So as you can see, the rocks look like it's been here for so many years. And the faces are already fading. Yeah, some is already gone. Very interesting to come and uh, witness this live. Uh, there's no face. Ah, oh, I see it like this. It still has his face. Very peaceful area, very quiet. I would highly recommend to come and see this. It's a very simple thing to do. It's, uh, it won't take more than one hour down here. Me and Sheila are exploring this place for an hour because the taxi driver gave us a quota and worried he might charge more. He's gonna wait there a little bit longer. So that's about it. This is the Burana Tower. That's it for the Burana Tower experience. Yeah. It was fun. One hour was more than enough. Now we're going to... Back to Bishkek and from there we're going to Alatul Park. Okay. We'll see you there. Go! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Now let's find our way back to Bishkek. Back to Bishkek. All right, guys. We're right now at Alatu Square, and we took a Yandex coming here that cost us two hundred and twenty-five sums. Unfortunately, we have a bad news. Yeah, guys, check it out. Renovation is it's taking under. place, so I don't see any guards here changing. <laughs> For now, what we can do is we will just show you around what there is to see here at the Altu Square. Yes, there are a lot more historical monuments around here. There's this National History Museum, also one of the famous landmarks, I would say, especially at the way they built this building. It looks very Soviet-like. And then there's also another monument at the back. And then there's this statue of Manas, which happens to be one of the most famous uh, hero of Kyrgyzstan. Who uh, I was told that he was one of the ones who united the 40 tribes in Kyrgyzstan. That is why you will see the 40 rays and the flag of Kyrgyzstan. So this is the guy who is responsible for uniting the 40 tribes. Well, there you have it. Let's just show you around what there is to see here at Alatu Square. Follow us. Alatu Square is known for its vibrant atmosphere surrounded by important landmarks that make it a focal point for both locals and tourists. There are pop-up vendors offering a range of activities or places just to relax while enjoying the flower beds adorning the park. A must-try are these traditional drinks. Local ice creams, so rich that you can really taste them. The, the milk essence, right? And the popular punching arcade games, which are favorites among the locals. As boxing enthusiasts, we definitely didn't miss out on that. Let's go, baby. Oh, yang lakas pala. Wow, you got an audience. Okay, done. <laughs> we did it. And our last landmark is the 17-minute walk from Alatu Square, a public square dedicated to the victory over Nazi Germany. The Victory Square. Coming here at sunset is a perfect plan as you sit down and admire the solemn atmosphere. The square features a statue of a woman waiting for her husband to return home from the war. The depicted woman is standing under a tinduk in the form of a funeral rat held by three ribs of red granite representing a yurt. The most striking feature is the eternal flame flickering gently yet defiantly against the backdrop of a vast sky. The eternal flame serves not only as a tribute to history but also as a reminder of the enduring spirit of the people of Kyrgyzstan. Overall, it embodies a deep sense of national pride and collective memory, making it a must-visit site for anyone exploring Bishkek. So you've seen it. These are all the top things to do here in the capital city of Kyrgyzstan. So now we're headed for dinner. Which is actually one more thing to do. Yes, it's called Besh Barmak, right? Yes, it's an iconic dish of Bishkek. So we should try it. Yeah, for now let's just go look for Yandex. It's somewhere around here now. And to finally end the day, let's delve deeper into Kyrgyz culture and cuisine by trying a traditional dish that reflects the rich nomadic heritage of the region. But before that, let's overcome the language barrier first. So this is how we communicate here. Yeah. In Kyrgyzstan, they type what they want to say and he's typing what yeah. he wants to say. So, one final thing to do here in Bishkek is to, of course, try their iconic dish which is called Besh Barma. 
literally means five fingers. So they traditionally eat it with their hands. But it's quite hot. It's yes. very hot, so I don't think we can eat it by hand. And this is how it looks like. Mm. Interesting. It's a pasta, right? Eh? It is. Mm. It's very flavorful. It's a set that they recommended us because we didn't know what to order. So we just told them that to give us the cash for two. And this is the set for 890 songs that comes with donut, like bread, and then there's Kyrgyz bread, non and tea. Look at that. This is traditional. Ooh, the tea is good. Tea, very good. It goes well again. Cheers for our first day in Kyrgyzstan. Cheers, guys. And that was a lovely meal, guys. I am so stuffed right now. Yeah. I didn't expect the fish barmok to be so big. Yeah. It's like you can feed so about filling. yeah, you can feed about four people. They right? also did mention that if they, they serve one of the best somsas, mm -hmm. so you guys should go and give it a try. I highly recommend it if you are looking for something interesting for an experience for food. If you're a foodie, one place to come and try something exotic because it does have intestines and pores <laughs> and noodles. It's, it's like good. a must try at least once. <laughs> right now we're waiting for Yandex. We headed back to the hostel. What a long day it's been from the 13 hours bus ride and then limited yeah. sleep finally it's over so there you have it that's what to do here in Bishkek now let's just get our Yandex head back call it a day and tomorrow day two in Kyrgyzstan another adventure yes so we're headed to one of the largest lakes in the world and we're really looking forward because this is where we're gonna experience staying in a yurt yes, yes it's our I first night so yeah. it's gonna be our first night staying in a yurt and in front a lake a huge gigantic lake it's a lake guys that's almost stretching like a, like an ocean if you go down there so let's go back home yeah. see you tomorrow good